Spiders are arthropods and invertebrates with segmented bodies and jointed appendages. Many groups of arthropods are predators of vertebrates, including amphibians, and play a crucial role in the structure and functioning of food webs. Spiders belong to the class Arachnida, a subphylum of Felicerata. This clade includes spiders, scorpions, ticks, as well as other organisms. Spiders are among the most diverse predaceous arthropods and exhibit high levels of both family and species richness, especially in the tropical climate. Most predaceous arthropods rely on specialized trophic structures and venom to capture and paralyze vertebrate prey. Almost all arachnids have eight legs and can be differentiated from insects since insects only have six legs. Other than the organism's eight legs, spiders share many characteristics with other arachnids. These characteristics include bodies split into two tegmata, simple eyes, and an exoskeleton, which is periodically checked. But so why are spiders important? Why should we care? Taken as a whole, and given the diversity of species assemblages in most ecosystems, the primary niche of spiders is in nearly every ecosystem to control insect populations. Spiders also kill other arachnids, even those of the same species, which helps keep their own numbers in check. They are also an important food source for a variety of birds, lizards, and mammals. The University of Michigan conducted a study comparing ecological interaction between anthropod and small vertebrate in a lowland Amazon rainforest near the Andes with Hill and documented 15 rare and disturbing symbiotic relationships. The team focused with originally on the ecological relationship of reptiles and amphibians. But over the years, scientists have witnessed and documented numerous interactions between anthropod predators and vertebrate prey at night, when anthropod predators were most active. It was also found that centipedes are major anthropod predators and use similar methods as spiders and have potential to kill coral snakes. It was concluded that a surprising amount of death of small vertebrates in the Amazon is likely due to anthropods such as big spiders and centipedes. Speaking of symbiotic relationships, commensalism is a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other is not harmed. This relationship involves a tarantula and a narrowmouth frog that uses the same retreat site as a spider. Although the spider is able to capture and eat several other frog species, it rejects the narrowmouth frog. The researchers have observations where many frog individuals were found next to spiders' bureau, and none of them were harmed. Similar associations between spiders and frogs have been documented in North America, India, and Sri Lanka. In a 1989 study, Colcroft and Hambler proposed a hypothesis that chemical defenses in a frog species' skin had the potential to prevent spider predation. This suggests that frog might be in a commensal relationship with spiders because it gains protection from predators. Clade arachnida has some of the most successful carnivores in the animal kingdom. Arachnids use varying techniques to capture their prey, some while employing at webs while others rely on the sit and wait method, using their speed and size as well as the element of surprise to overpower their prey. Spiders that prey on small vertebrates usually use this method. For instance, researchers from the University of Michigan witnessed a tarantula the size of a dinner plate on top of a softball-sized opossum and immobilizing it. Many arthropod predators are commonly active at night and capture their prey during this time. Due to the larger size of vertebrate prey, most of these animals rely on specialized body parts and venom to capture and incapacitate their prey. These special body adaptations include larger beaks, modified jaws, and very large fangs. Overall, our eight-legged friends are part of the most diverse predaceous arthropods. This study sheds light on patterns of commonness, including predation and commensalism, as well as the rarity of these organisms among regions such as the Amazon rainforest. Spiders and other arthropod predators ultimately play a crucial role in the ecological balance and affect the structure and function of food webs of the Amazon rainforest. Spiders help the earth more than we can.